Hello guys, RCG here and welcome back with another command block tutorial and this today is gonna be set block. So how do you make the set block command? It's really easy. You make it like slash set block, then the x, y and z coordinates, then tile name, the data value, the all block handling and at last the data tag. So um, I've marked out all these command blocks with the current block we are gonna talk about and how what it's used for. So you can see what we're gonna do. Then the um, uh, yeah, the option we're gonna talk about. So first is the tile name. This is really easy. It's a it's a set block command. Then it's um, yeah, relative to, relative to, and then one up, and then relative to, and then it's gonna tile name is just the tile name. <laughs> it's just the block you want to do. So this is wool. Um, not about sign wool. It's just yeah, it's a sign wool, but it's wool. So but this is stone. Really easy. So if I break the block and I set it, it says in the chat block placed. Um, and this is stone. And every time I delete it, oh, it will set stone. And if I press the button again, it won't replace. So that's really easy. Um, yeah, this is just the basic ones. Many people use this one. Um, the data value is a bit different. So as I said, wool is just wool. If I just this did wool, this would go to white wool. When I type the three, oh, uh, as the data value. I can change it to light blue wool. If I change this to 9, I get this beautiful sign wool, which is my favorite color. Um, we can do more of the data value, um, as, as, uh, um, such as the stone bricks. We can choose the stone brick 1, which is the mossy cobblestone. And we can do stone bricks 2. It's a um, correct stone brick. And we can also do 0, which is the default, and it's normal stone brick. Uh, same with cyan clay. Um, this this one is a bit more um, uh, different because it has stained hardened clay 14, and this is the red color. And if I, of course if I change this to nine, we get a beautiful cyan color. Um, the old block handling. It, most people think that it's the numbers they have to fill in, like because every block have. If I do slash give, uh, and then nearest player, and then two seven six, I get diamond sword. Because, but that's not the old block handling. Because the old block handling is the replace or destroy. So with replace, you won't see any difference. But with destroy, you see that, and the item pops off. Um, so you don't see anything with replace because it's the zero or the basic option. So it chooses that automatically if you don't fill it in. So, but if we um, change the color to, for example, ten you'll see that it just replaces. So if it changes to 9 again, uh, sorry, burp, it, um, ah, no, no, no. Um, it's 9 again. Destroy, however, drops the block, as I already said, so this time it's here. It's completely random why, where, it li uh, yeah, where it lands, so you can ch make a sort of randomizer with this. Um, the last thing, and the most difficult thing, is the data tag, and nearly all commands can use the data tag. So, what is the data tag? What I've done here, I have set block to the um, relative and one up co or coordinates, then a chest, zero, because we do need one. If I change it to one or everything, it doesn't change anything. I tested it. Then a replace, because I don't want the chest to pop off. Then items, amount, slot, blah, 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 and this command. Um, such as the other ones will all be in the description. Of course, I won't include this one and this one, uh, or this one and this one, just this one and this one. And you can change it yourself. So the data tag, what it does is if we destroy this one and we get look at it, it has a diamond sword in it. A chest with a diamond sword. Wow, where's the diamond sword? It doesn't drop? Okay, I don't mind. Um, so I can change this to, this is really funny, it's 276. And when you change it to 267, you can either sword. Isn't that fun? I love it. And you can change the amount, so you can give someone 64 iron swords, and they are stacked. Oh. I thought it worked. But I don't mind. And you can change the slot to example 3. And we'll be there. So that's how to edit this one, and you can set block chests. This is really useful for map making and like confusing your players that are playing your minigame or something. I don't know why how you want to use it, but here you are. This is the set com block command, and I will see you next time. Bye!